all right guys so i've been wanting to make a video on engine detailing i don't want to let this kind of get any worse than what is already than what I, it already is i'm gonna go ahead and uh, blow it off and try to get any dirt loose, loose dirt that's just kind of sitting around blow that off and then um, i'm gonna rinse it with water and then i'm gonna spray these the greaser that i have here after that i'm gonna hit it with the pressure washer and then after that i'm gonna come back a different day and just kind of clean it up detail the plastics and everything else this car is actually uh, from jersey in case some of you guys might may not know and this is actually it's not coolant it's salt that's splashed up you know with the water from driving on salted roads and i kind of hate myself for letting it sit this long just because i've had the car for going on to two months now i just kept putting it off so we're finally gonna go ahead and clean it up it's a mess it's kind of depressing to open up my car i have the car looking try to have it looking nice and clean but then the engine base messed all dirty and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick rinse uh, i'm gonna take the pressure washer to it i'm gonna rinse the hood too as you guys can see like it's a mess up here so i'm gonna spray the degreaser spray the whole hood and stuff and then wash the car at, at the end. What I'm gonna try to do is avoid spraying the pressure washer in like areas like the sensors over here. I'm just gonna do regular rinse with the water on there without the actual pressure. You know, anything where I could see like a little bit of wires being exposed, I'm not gonna try to shoot the connector directly. Stuff like this, I think it should be okay, but I'm still gonna be a little bit cautious. I'm gonna keep it at a distance where it's not splashing it directly with force. So it's very simple. I'm actually doing it while the car is cold. I let the car sit overnight uh, outside and that's when I really prefer to do it when it's cold i know people have done it when the, the engine's warm even when the car is idling i've seen it done and nothing's happened but i don't want to take the risk so i just want to go ahead and do it while the engine's cold and then after that we'll turn on the car so the heat of the engine can help some of that water um dry out a lot quicker all right got my leaf blower if you guys are interested i will have a link down below this is from amazon and you can actually get one from home depot too as well lowe's whatever this is just the first thing that i saw on amazon pop up so i figured i might as well go ahead and order it, it does the job I guess I've let this sit for about 30 seconds. I am doing it in the shade, but if you do it, do it in the sun, make sure that you don't let this dry. And um, once you let it, just read the instructions on whatever degreaser you use. Most of, most of them tell you to leave it for 30 seconds and then rinse it. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. And then after that, once I see whatever spots I miss, I'm gonna take a brush and clean it. And then uh, we should have a decently clean engine. So it's very, very easy to clean up your engine a little bit. So let's go ahead and see how it turns out. So as you guys saw, I ended up taking the pressure washer and focusing on the parts over here that's got the paint on it. There's a lot of uh, amount of grease on here. I'm not sure where that's actually coming from, but um, I think it's just grime and all that. And um, I ended up uh, hitting it real close, getting close to the paint, getting a lot of it off. There was a bunch on this side over here on both sides of the car. 
it had some over here so i'm avoiding the connectors i'm getting close to it but it's not hitting it directly and normally all the connectors are sealed correctly properly so it doesn't get water in it um but you know i went ahead and just kind of hit those spots where it had like large chunks of um, grime and stuff i'm gonna have to go back and hit it over here but after that once i'm done i'm gonna wipe everything down and then uh, we should have a decent engine bay stay up on that wide road because i can't let them take my soul nah, 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 no. oh i can't let them take my soul nah, 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 no. i can't let them take my soul nah, 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 no. oh i can't let them take my soul nah, 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 no. they thinking i'm bluffing but i promise i do it that k got a drum like murder and booming I'm sending you vert if i get my little uzi they thinking i'm crazy i'm gonna see you the haters people i'm saying get what i'm painting a picture big i call it little baby if i'm on the board then we playing chess if you on my way you gonna need a vest act big you might get stretched all right guys so here's the outcome obviously it looks a lot better i wish i would have taken a picture of the before but i'm gonna have to take a screenshot just so i can put it on my thumbnail so this is more of a factory look obviously if you can it's up to you you can add like plastic shine to it and i'm gonna go ahead and just start the car up let the car do the rest like there's a little bit of a water in there that i can't get to obviously that's not an issue because when everybody runs the gts hood it's vented so all the water is always going to go down here but you're not going to have an issue so don't worry about that um i still get questions people asking me if it's okay to run that hood if, if it doesn't cause any problems so as you guys can see i just Got my whole engine made wet and um, well, as far as I know, I don't think I have any issues. So <laughs> I'm about to start the car up and uh, see how it came out, see if everything works. Hopefully it should. I mean, if it doesn't, then I mean, I don't know. It's just got to be bad luck. But places like this, this is where you want to take a brush and just kind of scrub it. This is something that I'm going to have to do um, later on once I have the time. But it looks a lot better than what it did before. So I really needed to get this engine bay cleaned up because I do have some parts that I'm going to be installing. I want to do the hardware kit. I want to either do uh, polish or maybe the neochrome. I think the neochrome might be a little bit too much. So I think we're going to go with the polish. I do have neochrome lug nuts. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll show them to you guys um, in the next video. But they are neochrome. I'm replacing these. I'm getting new studs uh, for the car as well. So let me know if I should do the neochrome or the silver slash um, aluminum hardware it's just straight aluminum i think it will look nice with the wheels and more than likely i think i'm i'm always going to be running either polished wheels or silver wheels on this car maybe even white so either way i think uh the neochrome lug nuts would match with the neochrome um, engine hardware or silver you can't really go wrong with either one on this car so let me know what you guys think which which color i should go with also, I want to do something custom with the engine cover. I'm not a fan of the boxy engine covers. I don't know why BMW kind of went away um, from their reg the N54 style. I feel like the N54 is really the best uh, engine cover that you could have um, or the best look that you could have with those. Even the N55s, there's an N55 cover that kind of resembles the N54 one that I wish they, they would make one for this car. But if not, I'm, we're going to have to custom... Uh, make one just because i really don't like this i'd rather have the uh, intake manifold exposed so we're going to be doing a intake and a, a intake and a charge pipe and i'm actually thinking about getting those powder coated silver so it'll give the engine bay a bit more of a pop than having everything in black so let me know what you guys think either silver like a shiny silver or the neochrome uh burnt look uh hardware so I'm about to start the car up, but as you guys saw, it was a simple process. Blow off the car any dirt, then uh, just rinse it, and then spray the degreaser wherever you want it, and then uh, go back and rinse it off with the pressure washer or a garden hose, whichever you have, depending on how bad your engine bay is. And then after that, uh, once you got everything cleaned off, I took the leaf blower, it, which I actually recommend if you're going to be doing this. It dries up a lot quicker. It gets all the water out of your way instead of having to use a microfiber and trying to soak up all the water. So definitely consider getting one of those to blow everything off and then um, go back and just finish off with the microfiber on the like the little spots here and there all right let's see if it works <laughs> oh no check engine light oh no psych <laughs> knock on wood bup, bup, bup. <laughs> yeah so you guys see my tire pressure sensors uh light is on because my wheels don't have the sensors these were actually made for the meant for the 46 but I never got the sensor mounted because 
back does not require sensors. But yeah, this looks a lot better now. Pretty happy with the results. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just let the car idle while I wash the car. Let the car, uh, let the engine warm up and then just draw off any other water that might be in there. And uh, we should be good.